We're given f of x equals the quantity five x plus two divided by the quantity x minus three, and we're asked to find f inverse of x, or the inverse of the given function. To remember how to do this, I think it's important to recognize that the inverse function is going to undo the operation of the original function. For example, if x is the input into the function f and y is the output, this y becomes the input into the inverse function, which returns the original value of x. Which means, when we're given the equation of the function, we want to find the inverse. The first step is to write the original function in terms of x and y, and then we'll interchange the x and y variables. So the original function can be written as y equals the quantity five x plus two divided by the quantity x minus three. So the inverse function will be x equals the quantity five y plus two divided by y minus three. So this y, which is the output of function f, is now the input, or the x value, for the inverse function. And these x's, which are the inputs of f, are now the y values, or outputs, of the inverse function. And now we're left to solve this for y, and then replace y with inverse function notation. So because the right side is in fraction form, we could put this x over one, and then cross multiply, meaning x times the quantity y minus three must equal one times the quantity five y plus two or we could just multiply both sides by the quantity y minus three. Either way, we would have x times the quantity y minus three equals five y plus two. Let's go ahead and clear these parentheses. So we'll distribute here. We have x y minus three x equals five y plus two. Now remember, our goal here is to solve this for y, which means if the term has a y in it, we want it on one side, and if it doesn't, we want it on the other side. Let's start by subtracting five y on both sides. So this would give us x y minus five y minus three x equals two. Now we'll add three x to both sides. This is zero, so now we have x y minus five y is going to be equal to three x plus two. Now to solve this for y, we're actually going to have to factor out the common factor of y. So we'll have y times the quantity x minus five equals three x plus two. Now we're one step away. We need to divide both sides by the quantity x minus five. So we have y equals quantity three x plus two divided by the quantity x minus five. So for our last step, let's go ahead and replace y with inverse function notation. F inverse of x is equal to quantity three x plus two divided by the quantity x minus five. So here's the inverse function that we're asked to find. I hope you found this helpful.